Hello and welcome to another episode of Pop Court Reacts. And today, Seddon, you have uh, brought something to the party. Yes, um, we 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 often. I think you more than I often talk about uh, fun, um, and sometimes music just being there to scratch a fun itch for you. Now we love we love a deep song, don't we? And we love a deep political song, and we love a deep left-sided political song let's be honest um but but yeah sometimes you just want something that when you're walking down the street it makes you want to kind of sing along um and that can take many different forms and this is one that i was listening to today on the way home uh come up on one of my spotify playlists and it's a song that i heard years ago and i was saying to you before we started recording wasn't i because i've still got no idea how this band got into my eye line but they did and once they did, um, I bought this album, love this album, this song especially. Uh, but it has been a couple of years since I heard it. So, yeah, as I was walking down the road, and I, I won't do the physical action that I was doing as I was walking down the road in the real world, because I'll wait until you've heard the song. Um, it made me think, oh, do you know what? We're recording tonight. Uh, let's get this in front of Chris and see whether, one, he's ever listened to it, and, and two, whether he likes it or not. So I guess that begs the question. Have you ever heard of Fight Like Apes? I have never heard of Fight Like Apes. Um, and, and, it sounds like a band I should know well, with a title like the band name like that. But no, I've never heard of Fight Like Apes. And have you ever heard of the very precise and succinct song title of I'm beginning to think you prefer Beverly Hills 90210 to me? No. Well, that's well, the song we're doing. It. Yeah, and also like that's part of the challenge is to try and fit that on a bloody YouTube thumbnail without the whole thing having to just be words. So, um, but yeah, I, I I won't go. I won't talk about it like um, what it's like or anything like that. Like we'll just go into it. But I do, I do think you're gonna like it. I really do. So shall we see what fighting like an ape brings us? Damn well, let's do this. <laughs> Yeah. <laughs> 
<laughs> and that was a very subtle way of saying you're fired. No, just joking. Um, uh, are you beginning to prefer Beverly Hills 90210 to me? Uh, I, I can definitely get behind Beverly Hills, Beverly Hills 90210 after that. That was fucking genius. I, it, I, it's, it's just it's quirky, lunacy, weirdness, it's fun. but works so well doesn't it yeah. like um yeah yeah a chorus of suplex suplex backbreaker yeah yeah and and, and again like uh, you know I said I was walking down the street so when that bit's going because it's got kind of that sh- sea shanty kind of song to it yeah I, like, I'm swinging my arms whilst walking down the street <laughs> anyone who is watching me must have thought what is this idiot doing but um yeah I, I, I it just as I said fun for me it, it it's all about um uh, like I imagine when they were writing this and recorded this, it probably started off as a joke and they kind of ran with it. And I don't know. I, I just think if I was in the studio doing this, I'd be like, yeah, this is brilliant. Come on. Like this must be on the album. Um, yeah. So pleased to have found it when I did and, and stayed with me ever since. Although it, as I said, there'd been a bit of a gap since I'd last heard it. So I'm so happy to have it back in my life. Uh, this, this is definitely, I'm, this is going to be me tomorrow at work. I'm going to see if this is on Spotify. And if this is, this is... It is. All day tomorrow. It, I've got some good news for you. It is. Um, they, they've done more than the one album. Um, and the album, you probably saw it in the video, is uh, Fight Like Apes and the Mystery of the Golden Medallion. And for some reason, I only ever got the one album. And uh, it's the only album I've listened to. And I do. I really like the album as well. I think it's a it's a great album. And, you know, sometimes in life, you just you you pick up an album for a period of time it's and normally the right album at the right time yeah yeah but you know like look i think both of us suffer that's a bit of an extreme word but suffer from a bit of that obsessive side of going right and must listen to everything must get everything and i still to this day don't know why um i, I never did any more but yeah i guess just encapsulated a, a moment in time for me and, and stayed with me for that moment in time but uh yeah you know i i, I keep saying but bring me bring me the songs that mean something bring me the songs that have deep thought and passion to them bring me stuff that where i can sit there and go do you know what that changed me or bring me stuff like this <laughs> but it, it's one of those of if i if i had this when i was you know running pubs and being a manager in places and i yeah. had to fire someone yeah. got something i need to play you <laughs> yeah you know, it's got it's so versatile in so many situations, and you know, like um, often we sort of talk on here. I know, like um, we ain't the most animated people, are we? For this, and, right. and you know, part of that's like a comfort level, but just in general in life. But there are certain things, and you know, I said about fun. There are certain things that get into me, and in that, as I say, I cannot stop myself moving. I can't stop myself from singing along to it. Um, and and for someone who finds it very hard to kind of do that, because uh, I do like there's as a natural. Um, I think we said it on a previous episode. There's a natural English element to me that goes on oh, to be silly. We queue, yeah. we drink tea. Um, like um, it is nice to find stuff that I can kind of forget that there's a world going on around me and just get totally lost in. Uh, let, let's be honest, some some stupidity, fluff. Yes, <laughs> from fluff and stupidity, but but just beautifully crafted fluff and stupidity that that pulls me along with it. That just has that fun. And as I say, the music um, um, really helps. You know, the lyrics are are, are funny spot on for me great and especially when you get into the um uh firing all of the great characters from nursery rhymes and um <laughs> but but yeah i think without that kind of sea shanty like that's getting you kind of there and bringing you from um chorus to chorus uh, uh you know i think straight straight a genius for him yeah it's uh this is definitely going on my on my list to listen to i'm gonna listen to the album tomorrow when i work yes. this is just fucking fun it's always um, nice you know we, we say about it it's always nice when you bring something that like in my case obviously that chris likes and vice versa you know there is there is a nice warm glow that you get when uh when you know you, you like the shit that i bring along for, yeah. for you to listen to yeah this this reminds me of back when i used to work in the marquee and we'd have weird punk bands that would come in you know they've, they've been a band for six to eight months or whatever they, they have like yeah. five songs and yeah, they've done their serious song, they've done their political song, and they've gone, uh, <laughs> let's do a song about something weird. About just, suplexes. Just jump on it. Uh, and, yeah. And backbreakers. Um, and yeah, they, these sound like the sort of the sort of bands that would have been playing in the marquee back in like the mid 2000s. 
Um, yeah, um, 2008, yeah. I think the album come out, and um, like it, I think they've done some EPs and some tours before that, but it was the um, uh, first album. Just just to kind of, there's, there's three albums. Um, the the third one is I would say compared to Fight Like Apes um, and the Mystery of the Golden Medallion. And, and I'll give you the second album title in a second. The third album title is a little bit disappointment. Disappointment. It's just called Fight Like Apes. But um, 2010, and and I will be now getting this album. Uh, the second album was The Body of Christ and the Legs of Tina Turner. <laughs> I think we have some future work to do. I think we. I think we'll be doing that at some point. Um, Nominated for Irish Album of the Year in 2011, uh, The Body of Christ and the Legs of Tina Turner nice yeah but yeah no I'm, I'm all for this definitely um let us know down there what you think because yeah this um yeah yeah and if you're aware of them you've seen them you've got more history of them let us know but also if there are other bands that similar um similar kind of vibe then yeah bring them on bring them yes. on um as always youtube things like subscribe ring bells and until next time I'll be the same. Oh, yeah. And you're fired. You're so fired. You're so fired.